guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today's video is what we eat for breakfast and lunch during quarantine it's also a collab with the lazy housewife she does content similar to mine with also cleaning motivation decluttering motivation so be sure to check out her channel I'll have it linked in the description box down below and hopefully between the two of us you get some fun creative ideas to break up the monotony of eating every meal at home during quarantine so let's get started first up I'm going to make these egg ham and cheese McMuffins I'm going to use this Hamilton Beach breakfast sandwich maker I will have it linked in the description box down below if you'd like to check it out um, but I'm going to use English muffins Canadian bacon sliced cheese and eggs but you could use biscuits you could use sausage you could use bacon our daughter likes just egg and cheese on hers. There's so many different varieties, but they're so easy to make. In less than five minutes, you have a McMuffin, just like from McDonald's, but at home, and you don't have to go anywhere. Next up is some pancakes. My husband and I found this Funfetti pancake mix at Walmart, so we thought we'd give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and make the whole box and then stick them in a gallon size Ziploc baggie, and then the kids can help themselves whenever they are hungry. They can heat them up in the toaster and then they have some delicious Funfetti pancakes. Next up is, yes, just a bowl of cereal, but I wanted to include it because we found this fun Philo's cinnamon roll cereal at the Dollar Tree. So the next time you're out getting groceries, maybe stop by there and you might find some fun cereal for only a dollar. On to some lunches, and on this day we had chicken and shrimp sandwiches. So I'm just going to cook these chicken tenders to the package directions as well as some popcorn shrimp. Then we're going to layer them onto some sub rolls, put a little bit of mayonnaise, some shredded lettuce, some hot sauce, and they were really, really good. It was a nice change besides the same old ham and cheese or PB&J. Next up is some fried Spam sandwiches. Yes, fried Spam sandwiches. If you like bologna, you would most likely like Spam. They taste pretty similar to me, especially if you fry them. But we live in the South. My husband and I both grew up on Spam. We love Spam. We do not eat it often because obviously it's Spam. It's not good for you. But it's so, so good on a sandwich. So. On this day, we had fried Spam sandwiches, and we enjoyed it. So, if you give this a try, let me know in the comments down below. If you do not like Spam, that is okay. But, let's be nice. Let's remember what Thumper said. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. We like our sandwiches toasted with some mayonnaise and mustard, and I always put a smiley face and a heart on my husband's. Next up was some tuna sandwiches. My husband and kids like their tuna very basic with just mayonnaise and pepper. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to toast the bread and then we're going to grab some chips and have some lunch. Next up was some pizza. This one has hamburger and pepperoni. And then I made one with hamburger, pepperoni, and jalapenos. They were delicious. We love homemade pizza, especially for lunch. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found some menu inspiration or at least a little entertainment to brighten up your day. Don't forget to check out Siobhan's channel. I will have it linked in the description box down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.